Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about refactoring and how can we leverage our IDE to perform this refactoring effectively. So let's get started. What is refactoring? Refactoring is nothing but improving your existing design without changing the behavior. The reason why we need refactoring is because software is constantly changing. So whatever design system you have built right now might not be relevant after six months or the business requirement change drastically. The things which you have kept in mind in earlier is not working anymore. So that is now completely changed. So now you have to change your design from that old to new system, but the behavior remains the same so for example we have a system here which is basically our mobile application here and let's say i have a button here called create task now when someone click on this button it does something and then it's create out a task for me now when I click on a button, something happened and it produced the task. Basically, it's getting the input here and producing some output. Now, how this input and output journey look like into a system is not visible to user. For example, if I'm going from here to here, there are a lot of routes I'm going through in order to, you know, call the API, update the database, call another service and things like that. And then it's producing this output. Now this become very complex when someone try to change something like you want to add a label while creating a task, then it's pretty much hard to understand what the flow is going on here and how do I add a new feature inside it. So, this is where the refactoring comes into the picture. So instead of having this mess around, what you do is you have a system here, basically our mobile app. And similarly, when we provide an input here, by doing a refactoring, we make it in a better design or a better structure where you go from one point to another point here, and you go here and here and here and then it produce some output. Now this is where when we do a refactoring to make our ex existing design better. So here the behavior does not change. The input is same, the output is the same, but the things which, which change here is that this mess is now clear here. So this is how you can visualize the refactoring. When refactoring, I would always prefer an IDE over manual refactoring because my IDE knows the code base way much better than me. They know all the links and the usage and the name and many other things. So I would not be doing anything manual until it can be automated through the IDE. And especially the IDE like uh, IntelliJ comes with a lot of refactoring tools. Uh, this also come with a VS code and other IDE as well. But I've been using IntelliJ for around starting of my career and i find really good tools around refactoring and searching the code base and uh, replacing it and all that things so i would highly recommend you to you know understand your id how it works and master that tool so in a book called pragmatic programmer one of the tip for the programmer was to master one text editor which is basically your ide this will really help you to be more productive, automate most of your task, and it will be a less error prone because the reason is this refactoring tools are very well tested and we can rely on them safely ra rather than doing things manually because human process is really error prone and machine are very good at uh, doing automated things. So before we start refactoring with the tool, I want to clarify one thing that why we are doing refactoring now, one of the rule for refactoring is in order to improve the existing design, you need to have a way to verify the behavior which already exists. That is like clicking on a button and creating a task is a behavior. 
so how do we verify that behavior is by writing test so one of the first tool for refactoring is that in order to do refactoring safely you need to have a test in place so that was the reason that we started with writing the test with an existing code we try to do as minimal as changes uh, to the existing design we want to do that in a later phase first we want to document the behavior which we currently have in a form of test now as we have seen in the previous video we have around 90 to 92 percent of uh, coverage on our home screen so now it's a good time to refactor because we have covered 90 percent of uh, the cases there so whenever we make changes to our existing system the test will able to pick if something is broken or not so let's just start with a simple refactoring now one of the refactoring you can do is basically uh, before dart 2.0 the new keyword was not there but now we have a new keyword the simplest way would be to remove this new keyword is just going through here and removing to each widget or whichever class we have but this might lead to some error or you might miss some of the widget the good way to do is the use the IntelliJ IDA tool and refactoring tool to fix that very quickly so what we can do is instead of doing it manually can just find and replace it throughout the code base what i can do is i can just hit command shift r which basically gives a pop-up where i can find a text and then replace it throughout the code base so what i want to do is i want to find a new keyword space and then replace it with empty text now it will show me the result that how many places uh, the new is being used but you need to be a little bit more careful when you are doing it for the first time for example i want to perform this to all the dart file and not the other for example here it's also detecting the new property for gradle and another plugin which i don't want to change i just want to change for the dart files which i have so what I can do is instead of giving the scope as a full project, I'll go to just a directory specific project. I will, I'll just go to a directory specific, which is basically a what to do and a lib. So lib is where our all Dart file lives. So when you check here, now you can see that it's all covering all the Dart files. There is no plugin or any other kind of a file. So this way you can leverage a tool to find or define a specific scope to do that refactoring. What you can do is uh, just go it one by one, like checking each and going that that way uh, so that you won't do any mistake or it doesn't change the text which you are not intended. For example, there might be a string where you have new space. So it will also try to replace that. So you want to be careful in that sense and replace that. But I don't have any, you can see from here that I don't have any text like that. So I can pretty much can go with the replace all. So now I'll click on replace all and it will say you have 100 occurrence across 10 files and you want to do it. I'll say yes. And now here you can see that the new keyword has been removed here and I cannot see it anywhere. And also it makes changes to all this file where the new keyword was used. Now I made this change, but how do I verify that it does not break anything? So this is where the test comes in really handy. So I'll just make sure that everything runs as, as intended and nothing is broken. So I'll just use, I will just run flutter test. Now you can see all the test passes. So this is how the actual refactoring should be. It should be done in small step. You do one change and then you run all the changes to make sure that everything is working fine. So this is where, you know, you just hop around between uh, test and refactoring. And this is why when you are working with a legacy code, it's important to write your test first, find a way to write a test. And when you are sure that you have enough coverage there, then you use those refactoring tools and technique to change the design into a better structure or make it uh, in a way that it's easy to test. So this was one of the small example where I have just removed all the new keyword and I have run the test, which basically verify that my code compiles. Uh, there is no compilation error and also it does not change any existing behavior. So it works as expected. And just to showcase here, that was just one of the text replace thing. But if you go 
into uh, refactoring there are a lot of uh, refactoring things you can use like variable method extract widget rename move this and like that also there are some tools like uh, you can use here like surround with like surround with you can do if else catch or you can generate a code those so there are different tools you can use to make refactoring way much more easier so to conclude that uh, always prefer id over manual refactoring try to master one uh, text editor and i have seen in my personal experiences that most of the developer with with two or three years of experience they are not sure how to do a refactoring properly what they try to do is they try to do a bunch of thing all at once and they they don't have any way to verify that if the things they have changed is changing existing behavior or it's preserving the existing behavior and most of them use the refactoring to just renaming the class or moving the class there are bunch of other tools available in refactoring which you can leverage to improve your design in smaller step without breaking the code so in the next video we'll talk about other refactoring tips and, and tricks and techniques we can use so this was just about finding and replacing replacing the text but in the next video we'll see how can we restructure our code base in smaller step by extracting function and inlining function and using the id to help us with that thank you and see you in the next video so if you like this video then please like share and subscribe thank you